Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Slope Podcast. This is your weekly podcast on the Saka Michi series out of groups. You know who it is. It's going to be Nogi Zaka 46, Keiki Zaka 46, Hinata Zaka 46, and Yoshi Moto Zaka 46. This is season two, episode 31. Ooh, midlife prices. Let's go. Uh, I'm one of your hosts. I'm Jimmy, aka Swole Taku, and I'm joined as always by my friends and my fellow hosts. We have Boy, Boy Kuhn, and Josh, Mr. Josh Box. Hello. Hello. How are, how are we doing, guys? Doing okay. Yeah. So, uh, so I had this thought earlier today as hmm. I was getting ready for, for work. So it used to be, you know, during during your midlife crises in like the, the 90s, you'd buy like a motorcycle or a, mm-hmm. or like a convertible. The new midlife crises is RGBing everything in your room, dude. Are we going to see you with the RGB mic, RGB headset? RGB all the things, dude. I'm, I'm well on my way, dude. I, I've been like I, – I doubt I'll follow through on this because um, I, I just don't think I can I can honestly be bothered. But, uh, you know, I've been looking at like computer setups and desk setups and stuff. I'm like, man, these are these are nice. I should – I should fix up fix up my space like that, you know. Oh, yeah. Jimmy Jimmy's lights are just gonna be like just cycling through colors. His mic cycling through colors. I was, I was making fun of a uh, uh, manager staff son Tron during our meeting yesterday because he brought the nano leaf. So I was like, dude, that's that's how you can equally look like a twelve year old and like a thirty year old at the same time, dude. You know, when you got the <laughs> the LED triangle panels on your wall, you know. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Um. I mean, I, I like RGB. the clean setup myself. I try mm-hmm. to keep mine pretty uh, minimal. It's like, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. A lot of stuff I, on I've, my desk. I have too much stuff to like so. have a minimal setup. Mm. Throw throwing a succulent on that desk, dude. Mm. Put, put it up. Already yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's it's why. I, that's why I dropped it, dude. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I'd like that's that's what I want to do instead of RGB. I just I want to buy a bunch of plants. Mm. <laughs> You want to be in a You're like in a in a, in a rainforest? <laughs> Hello, <laughs> just just uh, wood stain everything on your desk. Oh, yeah. Like make it make it look really old, you know. Just, uh, <laughs> my mic is wood stained. Rusty. <laughs> uh, uh. My uh, <laughs> my keyboard is wooden. Uh, oh, what's uh, see then when you when you buy the tiger bed sheets, then it actually makes sense. You're right, <laughs> we're in the jungle. Oh, what's uh, uh what's what's that uh what's that a uh, what is it capsule around your your microphone, dude? Oh, it's bamboo. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Made a bamboo <laughs> dead. Bamboo Add dead a little cat, reverb dude. to the sound. <laughs> yeah. I kind of have a. Oh, I don't know. I don't like. If you guys watched our um, room tour videos, I kind of have mm-hmm. like a theme that I want to go for. I, obviously, it's not done because I can't afford everything I want. But it's mm. Wood tops. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Black whatever else you know. Yeah, black trim. Right. But my mm-hmm. desk is all white, so if you play Animal mm. Crossing, it would be the Ironwood furniture set. <laughs> oh, <right on. laughs> there you go. It exists. Um, well, like I, I bought something, but it wasn't R- RGB stuff. I bought a mm. new stick vacuum. Let's go! Oh, Ooh. Ooh. it's gonna so, come in so, tomorrow. I'm pretty excited. Oh, I was gonna say, so you don't have it. You don't have it yet, but it's coming no, out. No. What uh, what is the so key just... difference between this and your previous stick vacuum? Yes, because other one you bought is of Kiakita, oh. right? Oh, I have it right here. Oh, yeah, because of uh, you know, this we got the, the we, one... we had the endorsement from uh, Tsuchi himself, dude. Uh huh. So it's like this, right? It has this thing that comes off. Mm-hmm. But the... mm-hmm. I always wanted the one that's like the Dyson. It mm-hmm. looks like a gun. Like I oh yeah, I have Dyson, that one. I have that one. Yeah. But, um... Well, I have the V10. There's different yeah, ones. Yeah. Like, I mean, I just have like a, I, I just bought like a cheap version of that, but it's mm. basically kind of the same. I got the like, V, yeah, the same uh, lineup, right? Yeah. So it's like, you know, it comes with a long pole that you can attach for, you know, yeah. stand up. And then there's the pet thing to mm-hmm. get their fur and stuff. So my dog is going to feel the wrath of the vacuum. When <laughs> hey, come here. <laughs> I'd be clean that fur, boy. <laughs> Dude, uh, yeah, I think I, I think I got mine just because it was on sale at Costco, but it was a good buy. I was very pleased, very mm. very pleased. Yeah, so it's, it's it, it makes just like the ergonomics. It makes the whole vacuum. And, yeah, it makes the whole process way more convenient and therefore more likely to actually for you to actually use it, right? Yeah, yeah. Because mm-hmm. it, it just uh, you know, ours. I, I'm sure yours will be the same way. It has like 
a wall mounted charger, mm-hmm. right? Oh, that yeah. you just hook it onto or and whatever. Then, when you and empty so you the, just use um, it wireless. Yeah. When you empty the thing, it just opens yeah. on the bottom. Yeah, yeah. You just hit you the just latch. Dump and just, it out. Yeah. It's the, yeah. Like the one on mine, I have to like remove it first because mm. it's like not the same. Um, what is what is the word? Ah, anyway, it's not the same. So it's yeah more involved to like remove. Mm. It's not as convenient. Yeah. So. Yes. Hmm. Well, all I right. have old vacuum, so I can't relate to this. Like I have the old, like heavy, you know, the, uh, two hands to lift up. All right, we, we just got a suggestion from chat for a vacuum review on the Slope Club channel. So you can look forward <laughs> to that video coming out in the next <laughs> Get ready, boy. This is featured on Kiyaki Takaka Night, but now uh, I have this new one. <laughs> all right, all right. You know, we, no, we all did our individual uh, room tours, dude. Now it's going to be our individual vacuum <laughs> tours. Vacuums. Well, like, un- un- hey, what's up, guys? This is Jimmy from Slope Club. Here we got the Dyson V10 uh, pet version. Uh, we got... <laughs> But like, and also on Kiaki Te Kakenai, Tsuchi gave his to Akanen, right? Hmm. He just gave it to her. Uh-huh. It wasn't Baller, in the same dude. episode, but I was like, damn, dude, I want a Dyson for free. <laughs> Unless he just anyway. bought like a new one. He's like, I don't need this anymore. Here you go. Yeah, but it's, it's still like, it's still, good. It's, uh-huh, uh-huh, like yeah. it wasn't broken or whatever. Mm. You uh-huh. Know? Uh-huh. And there is like a resale there. So like, it isn't like. Dude, yeah, they're like hundreds of dollars, dude. Uh-huh. Yeah, so um, I'll let you know next next week how it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I bought something too. Oh, what'd you okay. what'd you get, Josh? So you guys are right now looking through a new camera. Oh. Well, it's Ooh. it's new for me, but it's an old camera. It's a generation behind the camera that that I use over there. So it's still like 4K and everything. It's still like like really good for like the times. Like it's still useful. But I decided hey. I need something cheaper. I'm using my old camera, which was more expensive than this one. So I was like, let mm-hmm. me just get a cheap one that does 4K, but still like really good. So I got this mm-hmm. one. And it's another... And you got Fuji. the same uh, Fuji, right? So you're... you're yeah, yeah. It's yeah, just one generation your, um, down. Lens system. There has X, whatever. X, uh-huh. Because yeah. we all use different camera lens <laughs> yeah, systems. Dude. Good choice. Ooh. Slow Great job, guys. Club. Great job. Let's hey, go. Hey, uh, hey, boy, can I, can I try out that lens? No? Oh, yeah. Right. No. <laughs> just need to buy a conversion mount. That's, you know, mm-hmm. no autofocus. We just need to buy three different conversion mounts. It's fine. Um, what were we thinking? Honestly, we the thinking? only reason why I haven't switched to a system go Sony. Go Sony. one of you have. I, I, like, I'd I say go Sony, too. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that's probably my choice. But then, uh, you know, I don't want to buy all this new stuff all the, so. all the investment mm-hmm. you've made right that's that's mm-hmm. that's the trap dude right because mm-hmm. once you've gone into a system it's so hard to change out because you right even if i went to a, a cheaper canon camera i'd still mm-hmm. be going at a loss because yeah there's no way i'm gonna get the full price i paid for my lenses um, and stuff like that right when it like i use my so maybe that's thirds, okay because like you know a sony lens is like four times the price of an equivalent <laughs> canon lens yeah uh-huh. yeah so it's like when i first got a like I use Micro Four Thirds, and so when I first got a Micro Four Thirds camera, Sony didn't make mirrorless cameras, so I'm, uh-huh. I'm mm. stuck. Well, I am anyway. It's all gear shit that yeah. no one yep. cares yep. about. Yep. Um, yeah. Let's talk about idols. Oh wait, but first, oh Josh's comment of the week. Yes. Te- technically about idols. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It can be. Sometimes depending it's on not. the comment. Last so, like uh, like last week, but uh, yeah, let's hear Take it away. Mm-hmm. All right. This one is from Andrew Nail Tan. Thanks for the comment. And they say maybe it's just me, but every week Satoshiori is growing on me. Michan is my Kiaki Oshi, but Shichan man. By the way, shout out to you guys, fan from the Philippines here. Ooh, Philippines. Oh, what's good? Salamat po for that uh, that, that comment, dude. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, man, some Tagalog, dude. <laughs> hey, you speak Filipino, dude? Oh, God. <laughs> um, yeah, she chat. Uh, Josh, you saw her in person, no? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. She chat's pretty, dude. Yeah, prettier yeah, in yeah. person, for sure. I, I also think she is pretty. What's wrong with her on camera, Josh? Nothing's wrong with her on camera, Josh. I knew <laughs> someone was going to say that. <laughs> um, like, once I said, I was like, someone's going to mention it. I think her, her current hair that she has now is, is mm. nice. I like when she does a 
mid mm. part or like middle yeah, yeah. or like side part. It looks nice. Yeah, she has the the forehead she, for it. Yeah, she yeah. I was gonna say she's got yeah. the forehead for it. Dude. <laughs> um. Yeah, and so she's still around because. Uh, <laughs> Which yeah, we'll talk about. Uh, I, I, yeah, I love yeah on the TV show roundup. That was so good. That that was a, uh, such a, you, a funny pandemic, call out, dude. I guess uh, <laughs> I like literally laughed out loud. Um, mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for thank you for the comment. Mm-hmm. Appreciate it. Uh, hey, you know what? There's no shame in no shady. <laughs> as long as there's reason, and it's not every month or every couple months. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I mean, like to to be fair, who the really comment cares? Didn't say. <laughs> the comment didn't say. Comment didn't say that yeah. you know he's, he's gonna be Shi Chan Oshi now. Uh, he's saying yeah. you just know. Say it. Just say it. He's just yeah, yeah yeah. He's just saying that she's looking. You know that's uh, yeah. that's fair. It's not yeah. like you know. It's not like I never notice other members looking pretty. It's not like I'm like oh I'm gonna switch from Hobbo though. But all I'm trying to say is there's no shame. <laughs> all right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thanks for the comment. If you'd like Josh to uh, choose yours and get it featured on this here podcast, uh, well, leave one, please. Mm-hmm. Let's let's get some engagement going. Yes, down there, please. please. Um, so it's, it's the reason why I do these. I need. <laughs> there you go. I need to be acknowledged. <laughs> Let us um get into. But yeah, let's the let's show get then. into it. We got we got a good chunk of stuff to talk about. What's this week, uh, huh? what's going on in the uh, Saikamichi series? Well, uh, there's nothing to shill this week, so no money. Um, but you have a but you can go fun... ahead and subscribe on Twitch with your Twitch Prime, which you connect with Ooh. Amazon, and you get a free Twitch Prime. Look at that. Yeah, or yeah. you buy um <laughs> stuff on Amazon using the affiliate link. Uh, oh yeah look at it down below well anyway uh, current events well, think, oh, yeah um, there's nothing going on in Yoshi Motozaka land mm, no um, group so, stuff right individual they're always doing stuff yeah yeah, I mean, yeah. Like, comedians you know but, they, but then you know that that would take all day right we're, we're, yeah, yeah. we only cover them as the group Yoshi Motozaka yeah, because then we have to yes. cover the other the other girls that like oh they're in this magazine this time they're in this cover yeah. I mean, we kind of do that, but I'm just saying their their main activity is as a member of their idol group. You can't uh-huh. say the same for Yoshimoto Zaka, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their main activity is like whatever their actual thing it's, is. And then this is kind of like a it's because they were supplementary, established yeah. before they joined Yoshimoto. So you know, mm-hmm. all the other groups mm-hmm. are the other way around. Anyway, uh, Hinata Zaka, then um, they a collaboration feature recently with Kondo Haruna of mm-hmm. Harisenbon fame. Um, it was like for this uh, TV show um, on TV Tokyo. So they did Dorem. Not all of them. There's only five members featured. And so they did this little collab. Uh, Kondo Haruna is a, uh, a comedian. Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, I mean, it's kind of cute. We got uh, yeah. Osaka, Kawada-san is there, Nibu, Katoshi, mm-hmm. and Kyonko. Uh, mm-hmm. Perform Doremi. And then, um, yeah. I, like, I, I, th- I, I, I thought she was a little bit too much in the background. Like when I watched it, I was like, she's kind of hidden in the back. And then there's times when she's like with the girls. But the most yeah, of the she, she's pushed in the back. She like, mm. you can hear her sing and then she dances. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like how in the end she makes fried rice. Oh yeah, <laughs> just like, just breaks off quickly. Makes yeah, right. just, like cracks the egg into the quick, the quick little outfit stuff. change. She's just dude. like, uh, yeah. let's go. We'll make this fried rice in this last chorus, dude. Let's go. Um, yeah, Yo, some some really about long. that that like fried egg looks so satisfying though, dude. When you get mm. when you get that mm, egg in the wok, yeah. dude, with all that oil Look and it gets all like, bubbly up. Oh, mm. so but um, yeah, this is for the the show Toboru Doga, which. I don't really watch, but I think they, they just watch popular or like viral videos or something like that. Mm. And Haruna is one of the uh, people in it along with like Sawabe. Mm. Sawabe is also on there. And so I think recently they've been doing this these like video battles. Um, so Haruna did a battle against one of the Joshi Ana that's part of the show. And so they, they both mm-hmm. made videos collaborating with... Uh, other people. So I don't know, obviously collaborated with Hinata mm-hmm. making fried rice. Ooh. And then the Joshiana 
did like a whole band cover with other announcers, which I thought was oh, interesting. better. Oh. <laughs> you got like the the dude playing guitar and she's like mm, yeah. playing it's just piano. not fair dude it's not fair dude a guy is uh, one guy has a recorder and guy, one guy's mm. beatboxing damn look at that so much talent mm-hmm. <laughs> not only can what, they read prompters what, 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 a, what do what do he not the zaka have dude this this <laughs> dude, a little shimmy dude, this uh, yeah. <laughs> uh well, anyway uh, go check that out it's on the tv tokyo um youtube channel Mm-hmm. Can I can I just say that watching it again, being performed live, that move is equally one of the corniest but cutest things at the same time. <laughs> uh-huh. like I, I I'm constantly not sure how I feel about it. Yeah. Like I'm debating if it's, if it's like super lame or if it's super cute. Right. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Takes me back to um, early two thousands hip hop R and B music videos. You know, people. Mm, I can see that, but then they're doing like a cute twist to it, right? Mm-hmm. Which is why I, I think so, that was that was the whole point weird. of the dance. I think if you like create boy is their choreographer, right? Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. they made moves mm-hmm. and they made points. So yeah, it's this move because you know we like this and blah blah blah. I want to see it's create like, boy do it. I feel like it, it would have a completely different vibe. Mm-hmm. Oh, I and, and think then like you change the music with it too, so it looks like they're like. <sighs> All you need to <laughs> do is to go to the create boy Twitter. Let me mm. see if I can look it up real quick. Um, but I think that just been, sums up. He not Zaka, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I have nothing against them being lame. I love, I, you know, I, love, I, mean, I say lame. I don't mean like, ugh, this is stupid. But like, you know, kind of corny, kind of cheesy. Yeah, yeah. Right. Kind of well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, if you go, oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to look for it real quick. So Create Boy did it. Uh, they've been doing this for all the idol groups they do choreography for. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, they, it's the song doesn't play, but they like sing it, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> which is kind of funny. Um, yeah, and so. Uh-huh. Yeah, so see, I, see, it's a completely different vibe, though. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Right. Like, uh, yeah. I I can see a lot more of like the uh, like the '90s hip hop R and B influences in the the choreography. I mean, it's still mm-hmm. very idly because it is an idle song, and they they geared it for that. Mm-hmm. But I think it's just like the way that they kind of accent everything. You know, it's mm-hmm. not as like. Yeah. But look it's, at my guy with the hip sway, though. That's what I was going to say, dude. It's the go, contrapposto, dude. dude. Uh-huh, look uh-huh. at that. Ooh, look at... Mm, get it. Get it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, dude. I appreciate Create while you're doing all these... Yeah. See, that's what I was going to say, because I feel like that's... Uh, when he not the Zaka does it, it's almost all shoulders, mm-hmm. right? But when he does it, it's very much the shoulders and hips in opposition, right? Like, you're hitting uh-huh. that, like, boom, boom, boom. Boom, mm-hmm. right, right. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, check out their channel if you want to see a lot more. They do almost all of Hinata stuff. Of course, they do mm-hmm. other groups like 48 groups, group groups, and yeah, other idols, yeah. right? Doremi mm-hmm. and like Joyful Love and all those other groups. Q. Anyway, um, yes. Yeah. Some more. Let's some more Hinata Zaka news. Some more Hinata Zaka. Uh, of course. Uh, they are releasing their first album in September, September twenty third, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. Then the this week's um, or this past week's Hina Ai, they announced the Senbatsu for the lead track, Azato Kawaii, mm-hmm. and guess what? The bread is back in the center. Ooh, get Let's your carbs in. Oh, get those carbohydrates in. Let's, Let's go, go me me pan. Me center um you know it's all been kosaka now until now at least for mm-hmm. hinata zaka right of course uh, sasaki mire was center for hashiridas shunkan mm-hmm. album they released under hiragana keaki zaka but um yeah and it only it's- took five singles dude it's almost like there was a group that they could have used as a model <laughs> In terms of like, what hey, not to do. <laughs> no, I, I was gonna say what to do, right? Because uh, Nogi Zaka, right? Oh, okay. Conversely, I'll, I'll had had coma for about five for about five singles, right? Was uh-huh. it was it five? Yes. And then uh, before oh, they yeah. switched the, the the center, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's almost like another group maybe could have tried that. Mm. I won't name. I won't name names. Name names. Mm. It's yeah, so weird. I don't know like what it, year. It, it, it. <laughs> Dude, I. I I don't know what it is, man. I, I want to like Hinata Zaka more. 
because I, I feel like they're doing everything right. Because mm. they you learn. I mean? I yeah. Think. But then I think I'm I'm not even salty at them. I'm just salty that, like, why does their senpai group have to get the short end of the stick every time, dude? Mm. And I, I get True. not – this is not – they're like anybody's fault besides maybe management's, right? But, uh, but yeah, at least yeah, yeah, yeah. let's let's be positive. At least we got bread center. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Um. Yes. So we have the sandbats. All the members are in, even the newer third gen members. So mm-hmm. Kageyama, Miss Kage is back, but she's in the back, uh, right. I guess left corner. You know, that's that's the stage full- stage left. Yeah, that's the fullback position if you want to use uh, soccer terminology. And then next to her, Manafi is there. And then, um, shit, what's her name? Yamaguchi, one of the newer girls. Otake, and then Kumi, and then Manamo, and then... Uh, Morimoto. Morimoto, and then... Uh, Morimoto, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Hiyotan, and then uh, mm. Takahashi. Uh, I don't know her first name. <laughs> haven't gotten... Around to, you know, I haven't met them yet, so I don't know their yeah, names. Yeah, we're still getting to know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. They haven't been getting as much shine as uh, I was. This character, yeah. Zaka's new yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the back row. The second row, we have, uh, you know, Paripi and Matsuda Ko. And then Kawada san and Nibu and Bemiho and Hinano is the uh, first time in the second row. And mm. then Mei Mei. And then my sister, Ushio, representing Indonesia. Every always, dude. always, dude. so faithful, so faithful, so loyal, yeah. dude. Mm-hmm. And then we got the five in the front: Kyonko, Toshi, Bread is center, Kosaka now, and an Oh Sushi. Good Still job. Like this lineup. Let's and go. Can. Me too. Me too, dude. I like it quite a bit, dude. Only thing that could could have made it better is uh, take Kyonko, toss her back oh. one more, and put Nibu up, dude. Mm. Oh. <laughs> about to start fight over here <laughs> um so yeah uh, that's that's cool um if you watch hina i uh you know they they interviewed not all of them but they talked to uh kosaka now and sasaki mire and it seemed mm-hmm. like kosaka now was like oh shit man so much mm-hmm. pressure off my back goddamn mm-hmm. i was not sure how long this was gonna go <laughs> You know, I was looking I've at seen the other some group. Yeah, I've, <laughs> I've seen, seen some. what happens. Yeah. Oh man, did not want that to happen to me. And then she wrote uh, a very lengthy blog post on their mm-hmm. official website, talking about, oh, this must be a, a new phase for me. <laughs> <laughs> this, this new, time, new me. <laughs> I'm not even. I'm not even yeah. joking. I'm about. I'm literally about to cry. I'm so mad. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a new, uh, it's a new me, <laughs> or why? whatever. Um, why couldn't Tachi get this? Man? <laughs> Where's the block? You know, after this, Kosaka's gonna it. get refreshed. She's it. gonna be nice and I know, new dude. Oh and ready for God. it. Oh my you know, God! Uh, yeah, I was, ooh, I'm so relieved or some shit. I don't know. Uh-huh. Anyway, and then like, Meepan was like, "Ah, oh, fuck yeah, I'm back uh, in the center. Let's go." Yeah, yeah. Meepan's like, "Let's go. Let's get it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get this bread." <laughs> um. <laughs> So yeah, uh, they uh, uh, th- that is the lineup for the lead track, which is what they're probably gonna perform on TV and stuff to promote the album. Um, you know, we don't have the track list yet, so we don't know what's you know. But you can, I think this is gonna be the main lineup for a few album tracks at least, right? Uh, at least yeah, the, the yeah. front one. So the lead track is called Azato Kawaii, and they. Uh, played it on the radio on Recommend. That's the radio show that Katoshi is on. Um, mm-hmm. Check it out real quick. I haven't listened to this track, so I will. I have listened. Uh, so. I give it a little listen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm waiting for an official or a sec. Um, I uh, we can cut this part. Uh, I'm gonna listen to it. Okay, okay. The, it sounds a lot like the other group, but in a good way. Which other opinion. group? Like NGT? like uh. No, like the actual forty eight group. I was gonna say like AKB oh, okay. stuff. Yeah. Um, uh, this is this is a song that I feel like I would like more once I hear a um, like an actual finished uh, mixed version, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Like with, with like Kiki's like, with Nogi Zaka's new single, for example. That was very much like I already know 
once they fix the mixing, there's no way I'm going to like this. It's just a problem with the song mm. conceptually for me. But then uh, mm. this song is like, okay, dude, I, I like what I'm hearing so far, but maybe, you know, make it feel a bit more full, a little bit more lows. Uh, but I do like the driving guitar, right? It gives it that kind I'm just of... just going to get to the chorus real quick. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, go go. go I on, like sorry. the chorus quite a bit, dude. The the whoa oh yeah yeah, dude. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Nogi's the whoa whoa whoa. <laughs> Nothing's yeah. the whoa yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> it's it's that like palm muted guitar. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just like the. Can't hear it, Jimmy. Oh, the, the... AI is too strong. <laughs> okay. Um, it's just that it's I'll got that palm muted guitar, right? Like the dunk, 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 dunk. Can't hear that either, Jimmy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Turn Let's it off. Back RTX it. voice. You can hear me. <laughs> Click clack. Dude. All right. We're back. All right. So yeah. they uh, right. released the preview on, on radio. Mm-hmm. Jimmy, you listened to it? Yes, I did listen to it. Josh is going to wait. You? <laughs> I, I have listened to at least one <laughs> chorus. Mm. <laughs> um, so, uh, like- yeah, for me, it reminded me a lot of... Uh, the other group right um i can I see talking about yeah so it's, it's got that like kind of drivey palm you can you guitar. clarify the other group because we haven't made that reference since like last oh, that season. is akb48 oh. uh, yeah yeah the, the akb48 group so this is this is because right. when we first began the slow podcast whenever we mentioned akb48 the chat would be like what why are you saying <laughs> that name you're not talking about akb48 you're talking about sakovich series because i i I need to clarify because it's no longer a thing. I've uh, it, yeah. It, it has been a while since we've been like. I've, I've just straight up said AKB48. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're um, not trying okay, to hide so, anything anymore. All right, all right, all right. So it reminds me quite a bit of uh, <laughs> Jimmy Cut This. <laughs> <laughs> we must preserve. Every time right, I mention right, the right, other right, group's right, name. Let's, 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 let's start it back. Let's start it here. Let's start it here. Hey, did you guys listen to that? <laughs> <laughs> what this? What is going on? Anyway, um, yeah, I can uh, see where you're coming from. It has that driving, chugging, like rock guitar, very distorted, and that's very uh, yeah, yeah, characteristic mm-hmm. of AKB48. <laughs> oh, he did it! He done did it. <laughs> um, there's an interesting key change uh, right when the chorus hits. I was like, oh, okay, key change, mm. I guess. Um, but oh, yeah, whoa, 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 are whoa? there, you know, that's kind of a joke mm. that Sakamichi fans have, right? Uh, Aki P writing lyrics for Sakamichi groups, Nogizaka, whoa, 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 Kiyakizaka, whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah, Hinata Zaka, whoa, 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 mm. <laughs> so such classy lyrics, so go, much man. message behind them, yeah, high deep. level songwriting. But hey, it sounds okay. But, you know. Yeah, it's a fun song. Um, I was saying usually, uh, <laughs> not usually, but just in the in the instance of say the last uh, radio preview we got, which was Nogizaka's new single, uh, that was one of the ones where hearing the radio preview, I was like, I already know there's no mixing that's gonna redeem the song for me personally. It's just mm-hmm. not my cup of tea, mm-hmm. right? Like the my issues are with the song conceptually. This is kind of like the opposite, where I'm like. Okay, I like the, what I'm hearing conceptually, but I'd like to hear a more uh, like the album version just to hear like the full true fidelity, right? Like mm-hmm. here's some here's some more lows because of course you don't get that through the uh, the the radio, right? To see mm-hmm. if I can hear some more instrumentation because uh, yeah, yeah. Right now the guitar is on, so, ooh, oh hello. Go. Right now the guitar tends to be the the most prominent thing I hear, right? Yes, yes, and so um. Yeah, I'll just wait for a better Why version. That comes out. Maybe they'll release a music video. Um, the album comes out in a little okay, over there. a month. So uh, we'll see. Of course, music video will have a better, clearer sound. Um, but, you know, mm-hmm. I think I, I like... If, if you've heard you know, AKB or whatever, or, or even past Hinata stuff, you kind of get the vibe. That is the vibe of the song, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, exactly. I don't think anything else from the song is going to come at you and make you like, oh, shoot, 
what a, like, a revolutionary turn in this music. It's not like there's going to be some crazy slap bass, some like funky, yeah. funky bass lines in the bottom, yeah. in the, in the bottom hey, dude. It's, just, it's cute, it's energetic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so... That, that, it's it's, it's serviceable. Is. It's very serviceable mm-hmm. as an idol song. Mm-hmm. So um, that's also but, uh, the we'll song just... that they're using for the Lawson campaign uh, for He Not the Side, oh, okay. I guess. So, oh whoa, whoa whoa Lawson, whoa whoa, whoa. <laughs> all the way. <laughs> so yeah, that's He Not the... Good stuff. Yeah. Let's move on to Kiaki Zaka news. First, we have a trailer for the movie mm-hmm. that Kobayashi Yui is in. It's called Sakura, Sakura. and it stars Komatsu Nana. Uh, is, this a, is this a hint at their next name? Oh, <laughs> oh no. Put, put, anyway, the, the, put the tinfoil hat away, Josh. We're not the, doing uh, that movie <laughs> looks like a family drama. Um, mm-hmm. Family member dies or something. Mm-hmm. And, uh, like a baseball, like, you know, baseball star guy, like all the whole world ahead of him. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How did they come Pon, to grips with that loss, dude? Pon plays the friend of Kosa, uh, Komatsu Nana's character and seems mm. like she is in love with Komatsu Nana's character. Oh, mm. here we go. Um, so, yeah. Um, trailer doesn't show too much of Pon. She's not like a main character or anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, There's like one so. scene of her in it, right? Where she's like mm. sitting at the auditorium or something. But that's about uh, all you're going to get. It seems like her character is going to be kind of important in the development of Komatsu Nana's character, right? Yeah, yeah like the, that character's the young arc, daughter right? of the, of the mm-hmm. family. Yeah, so mm-hmm. uh, yeah, the movie is called Sakura. Is going to be released November thirteenth. Mm-hmm. So yeah, if you're a fan, I guess Pon Oshis are going to go and watch the movie to see like two minutes. Total screen time of Pawn or something. Uh-huh. We'll see. I don't know. It might be better than Hot Gimmick, okay. right, Jimmy? Oof. Uh I I don't think that's gonna be a hard one. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh, well, there you go. Let's move on to some group news for Kiyakizaka. They opened a special page for their latest and last single. Mm-hmm. Dare ga sono kane wo narasunoka. Oh, look at that, dude. Mm. Got that wavy. Mm, so Yeah, wavy. dude. Oh, that so vapor wavy. wave, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And like That's, the. Uh, the uh, okay. It's like the tree and stuff, too. Ooh, yeah, it's like, what is it? Inverse? Right? Inverse color. But except mm. the green is actually still green. Ooh, there you go. So. Uh, it's like, yeah. a, what is a style where they put like the, the statue on it? It's like vapor retro, wave. Kind of vapor wave. Vapor, yeah. That's, like that's vapor what I just. Colors. That's what I just said, Mr. Bob. Yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't hear you. I was too busy talking. Sorry. Well, anyway, the <laughs> single is digital only. It's gonna be released August twenty first, um, Friday for some reason. That's weird. Um, it's gonna be available on you know their usual places: iTunes, Apple Music. Um, the page has some. Photos from the online live mm-hmm. that you can check out. And they're probably going to have more stuff later on. So keep an eye out, I guess. Yeah. What is the audio that plays when you press the play bar at the top? Oh, yeah. If you play the play bar, it's like the monologue from the song, right? Mm. That poem says... I don't know if that's actually part of the track, but they did. She did say I some of those I lines in the not. performance. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. Can, we'll see. Can I just say that whatever this new group ends up being, I hope they keep all the uh, graphic designers. Oh, yes. Because oh, yeah, Zaka totally. has always had some of the best <clears throat> like, uh, like imagery and aesthetic in general. Right. Yeah. Like their merch isn't even just like, oh, that's pretty dope for idol stuff. Like that's just good design. Dude. Like this so, wavy um, shit. That yeah, could dude. Just be I the really color. like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Like usually idol, like at least mainstream idols, right? Uh, when they release a single or an album, the jacket covers always has the members on it. Right. It's not the same with indie idols or like chic idols or whatever. Right. Yeah. yeah. Alternative idols, but. 
Keaki, can Keaki do it, man? Can they be the first in the mainstream <laughs> to not have the members' faces in the cover of a single? Who knows? Um, I hope they have a video for this. Yeah, for sure. Because I quite like the song. Yes, so. yeah. We'll see. Mm-hmm. We'll see. I mean, it looks like they have a bunch of footage from all the, the Aeon Guard stuff that they were shooting, you know? So <laughs> hopefully that actually gets yeah. used to something. Right? And there was like that the other song, the, the Pool October song, right? That's also from mm-hmm. the Aeon Guard. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Maybe the but pink yeah. inside of this photo signifies the change of color they're going to do, where they're going to go pink because it's Sakura Zaka. <laughs> That's such a bad name. I, oh you having man. you having fun with yourself, Mister Box? Uh, Enjoy I yourself there. That. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I can too. It's you <laughs> just now. Ah, <laughs> uh, please don't be Sakura Zaka. Something. I, I, at I least, doubt it. I really at least have, keep so, like the yeah. coolness of it. God damn, Sakura mm-hmm. Zaka sounds not cool, bro. Sounds plain. Mm-hmm. Uh, some plain AF name. Anyway, um, mm-hmm. let's talk about Moriki Akizaka. Um, their documentary, which was delayed, <clears throat> will be released September 4th. Tada. Bokutachi uh, yeah. no Uso. Some, some stuff going on, dude. You know, it's hard to... yeah, things happen. Our too. lies and our truths. They did release um. a trailer for it. Um, you know, and it seems like it's gonna show everything from Silent Majority to mm-hmm. well, now when they announce mm-hmm. their disbandment and whatnot. But the trailer right, this- frames it too much to look like the documentary of Hirate Yurina, bro. What the mm-hmm. fuck? Because, I mean, essentially, I mean, I, yeah, I guess it is, but goddamn. I, I mean, do it so right, hard. let's let's I, I as much as I hate that, I can see why. Mm-hmm. Right. In the sense that, like. If if they hadn't decided to end the group after Hirate Yurina left, you know, it's like as much as I hated the Hirate Yurina friends, they themselves made that decision to turn it into that. So it's like, what else can you really do? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This yeah documentary mm-hmm. at this point, you know. So um, mm-hmm. I actually had some interest in this. Um, I, yeah, I do, too. Because I wanted to know what 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 made it so much twenty one minus one, that kind of bullshit, right? So mm. I don't know if, yeah, if we yeah. can at least learn uh, what was going on behind the scenes what a little was bit. Going on, then I'd probably watch it. Yeah, uh, I don't know, man. Maybe, they might like, just make maybe, it maybe, tears. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, yeah. I mean, like like you know, for example, and this is all conjecture because obviously we haven't seen it. We're just talking about it, right? But like, what if you know all this time we're like, oh, freaking management, freaking management, and it's like, no, this is like what the members decided, right? yeah, yeah, that they wanted to be like this, and then you can see it in there, and then like, okay, that might change how I feel about certain things, right? And yes. uh, and I feel like because this is pretty much going to be the definitive documentary of Keiki Zaka Forty Six, I that's why I'm inclined to want to watch it, right? Because they're a group that I really like. Yeah. I think. You know, to contrast it with some of the other documentaries, it's not like there's one every year, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and this, uh, yeah, for Keaki, since they are ending formally, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and aren't as, they like Keaki, adding more scenes, scenes, right? At least that's what I heard. Maybe like for the for the ending stuff. Oh, uh, maybe it's because they made that decision. They're like, oh shit, uh, uh, we, we, add we, can't, we can't just not have this in the documentary, dude. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. <clears throat> so um, we'll see. We'll see. Um, hopefully, it's not uh, just crying for. Let's well, just be Jimmy crying like the for... Hinata one. Yeah, it's gonna probably be me crying for for most of it, dude. Yeah, the Hinata Zaga documentary came out. And I think a few people in our Discord and mm-hmm. people who who we follow on Twitter watched it, and uh, yeah, it's it's a lot of crying for the majority mm. of the documentary. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a few uh, kind of quick reviews on the Hinata documentary that I saw on Twitter. Mm-hmm. I read them and I was like, yep, that's exactly why I did not want to watch that shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly as we discussed 
and complained about a couple episodes ago. You know what I mean? Mm. But hey, if you want to know, you have to go find that episode because uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not about to go down. I'm not going about to go down this long winded rant again. <laughs> We've done yeah, it like and, three times. And it already. seems like the the Hinata documentary only covers Hinata. They they talk a little bit about hiragana keiaki in the beginning, oh, and then it's all Hinata from there. See, to me, that's a little bit frustrating. I understand why, but it's like, dude, you can't just skip past the formulative years, dude. Mm-hmm. That's you why know. instead they should watch the story of Hinata Zaka Forty Six. Right? Oh, <laughs> they, they should just play that before the do- yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, we caught up. <laughs> Let's keep going. <laughs> You know, you know, it's like, yeah, it's like, it's like when you go to watch like Pokemon the movie, and they have the little Pikachu short at the beginning, dude. Mm. We could be the Pikachu short. That's the dude. story of, uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, yeah, that could be us, dude. Just think about it. Think um, of all the potential. Um, yeah. So hopefully yeah. the Kaki one uh, kind of covers. Is, isn't apparently too... chat saying that they cover a lot of Giga Hiragana. <laughs> oh well, there you go. But if you still don't want to spend that much time, <laughs> watch our video. Yeah, yeah. Um, watch it anyways. <laughs> <laughs> if you but, watched it already, uh, then I mean, might as well refresh yourself, right? Mm. Yeah, I, I know. I, I hope the Kiaki one isn't full of everyone crying. I just... I, I, I'm just hoping that this trailer isn't uh, isn't doing to us what what Josh did to our our fan base a few weeks back, dude. Just <laughs> clickbaiting us super hard. Oh. <laughs> I was like, "What are you talking about?" Yeah, like, I, we're like, "Oh I, yeah, I, you'll find out." And it's just like the most generic. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Most I just generic, want to come away like, like yeah. after watching this Kiaki documentary, learning that oh yeah, that shit happened. Okay, mm-hmm. instead of yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, I know it was difficult being an idol. <laughs> <laughs> we know it's that. Kind of yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, right? You're like, oh yes, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm sure that shit was difficult. You know, that's. Mm-hmm. See, I, I, I hope, yeah, I hope it's a lot of insight because, yeah, who, who would be interested in watching this? Not casual fans, right? Mm. Like people who just kind of know the music video, like, oh, the group's pretty cool. They're not gonna go spend like two hours of their day to go watch a documentary on about them. You know, yeah. maybe if it's on Netflix. But, like, mm. it's mainly made for the fans, right? And so, like, can you provide something that the fans don't already know? Like, don't mm. just give me stuff that happened. We've been following them since the beginning. We know what happened, you know? Like, mm. give us, like, yeah, insight into, like, why things yeah, happened like, that why, way. Why it's stuff that we they, can't find out by ourselves, right? Why did they drop the Budokan, right? It's because Tetsu mm-hmm. got injured? Mm-hmm. Ah, cause there's got to be more to it than that, guys. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, exactly. They kept on doing exactly. concerts after, yeah. Yeah. So, so I mean, we'll have to see. That. We'll have to see. It comes out we'll September see. 4th. We'll yeah, uh, hopefully we'll have uh, some means of watching it then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, um, that's all the Kiaki stuff. Let's talk about Nogi real quick. Um, they are once again supporters for a Kokosei quiz. Five Ooh, years high running. Kids, dude. Um, yep, so Kokosei quiz is like a popular... You know, how, how are they doing this? Are, they, are kids in Japan back in school already? I don't know. Oh, there's a long article, and I see the word, word remote, so that's ah, probably there we how go. they're going to do it. <laughs> that's all we um, needed to see, dude. Yeah, so Coco Say Quiz, it's it's not, it's kind of half a quiz and half like riddles, not like mm-hmm. a full-on yeah. quiz that uh, a lot of high school uh, kids participate in. If you look far back enough, you'll see Neru in one of those. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now yeah, I'm a Neru yeah. before mm. she got into Keaki. Um but uh, yeah, you know, once again, Nogi doing the support for it. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> it, it. It'd be like, oh yes, the answer to that looks to the left is this. <laughs> <Get> the <answer. laughs> it's kind of interesting to see like how they figure out these. There's like obstacles sometimes <laughs> that they gotta get, get through. Um, mm-hmm. There's like the looking, one. There's looking one. At, a, at a monitor <laughs> that, that yeah. has all the answers. Oh no, I'm, I'm looking at the at the you know at the webcam. You know, yeah. There's one. This, this um, is my view. Like one of the the games, I guess that I remember watching was they had four tires, like car tires, and they had to find, figure out a way to get all four across in the shortest amount of time, and it's kind of like a mm. race, right? Um, and they have like a few things they can use to try to like a long pole, and so like one team 
you know, put all the, the tires through the pole and try to like push it across. Mm. Some like just try to carry all of them. <laughs> you know, that, that's when you need Jimmy to carry both of them. Yeah, if, <laughs> if like Jimmy was them. one of their students, he would just walk that shit over. So yeah, it's kind of interesting though. The, the <laughs> they all think the about it. I'm just gonna um, carry it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like it's interesting to see the different like high school teams. Sometimes out, like, the, the simpler solution things. is the smarter solution. There was one where mm. um, they they had to get over this really tall like styrofoam wall, and mm. they had like a pole and some other things, right? Like, so most vault? of them you gonna vault over? Like, yeah, vault? like yeah. well, some of them just try to climb the pole as high as they can go, and then go from there. Oh, um, interesting. But the like the way they were supposed to do it or like the correct way, the fastest way to do it was like one person is at the end of the pole and the mm-hmm. rest just push the pole. And then like he kind of walks up the pole as their the other teammates are pushing. Oh, up. so he's like walking up instead of climbing. Yeah. Up. So he mm-hmm. like kind of holds onto it behind him as he's like. Yeah. Walking and so up, he and like they just him push up, him right? upwards. And everyone's like, mm, holy oh. shit, I didn't think of that. And the staff was like, yes, this is how you do it. <laughs> None of you figured it out. Because <laughs> they, they had Nogizaka. They were like, hey, Nogizaka, how would you uh, how would you try to do this? And they pretty much, you know, use the same way the high school kids tried, right? Like, mm-hmm. oh, maybe I'll climb the pole first and then oh, we'll go from there. I don't know. Um, hmm. Anyway, it's, it's kind of interesting. Um, some of the high school kids are obviously Nogi fans, right? So... <laughs> Yeah, it's always funny. So, what a surprise. Yeah. The host would be like, hey, kid, who do you like? And he's, he's like, ah, yeah, Mash the Mizuki. And Mizuki's there or whatever, you know. Mm-hmm. And she's like, Ganbate. And he's like, oh, fuck, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I will. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that motivation, homie. Mm. Anyway, um, it's going to air in like November or something like that. Well, it's, it's like a tournament type of thing, right? Elimination until the live yeah, broadcast yeah. type of thing. Mm-hmm. But anyway. They're kind of fun to watch if you have nothing else to watch. If you're free and have nothing else, maybe check it out. Yeah. But that does it for the current events. Ooh. We still so don't you know have the Route 246 music video. God damn it, Nogi. What are you We do? never will. We, we don't never know will. will. It's been two weeks. But anyways, uh, we're going we're gonna to take a quick little break. Uh, music video probably won't be out by then. And uh, we'll be back with the TV show. Roundup. And we're back. Hey, you know what time it is. It's time for the TV show Roundup. It's the part of the show where we go back and we uh, we, we discuss uh, the shows that the members have been. Of course, that means the regular shows. we got Hinata Zaka de Aima Show, Keakite Kake Nai. And Nogi, Zaka, Koji, Chu. Of course, you know, yeah. uh, we also might cover any of uh, the other appearances that the members may have been in throughout the, the past week. Mm-hmm. But that's mm-hmm. always boy, because I never watch him. Barely um, watch the nah, three shows as it is. Nothing. Nah, nothing. Nah. Well, at least I didn't watch anything um, uh, this week. They had that CDTV that mm-hmm. Nogi was on. Um, you know, the fourth gen the song, Hinata, I See. Hinata thing. Is really what, else? what what Hinata thing that we talked about earlier? Oh yeah, the collab performance. No, but the um, mm-hmm. there was a performance of uh, they did Jiko Chu Deiko, and mm-hmm. then they transitioned to I C. Like, damn, dude, oh. this sounds popular. What the heck? The yeah. fourth people gen were song? talking about it in the comments and everything. Yeah, because like it sounds like a SMAP song. That's why. Uh, mm. And so yeah, they they you know all the fourth gen were there and stuff. It was nice. Um, that was like the second performance they had of that song on a TV show. Oh, interesting. So, um, I also started watching Unsung Cinderella. That's the, the new drama that started that Nishino Nana says in. I know she graduated already, but um, it has a good cast, but the premise is kind of... What oh, is yeah? the premise, if you want to... <laughs> anyway, it's, it's about um, a pharmacist in the hospital that uh, gets into the way of like all the other care staff. Cause the pharmacists are only supposed to be like taking care of the drugs and shit. Right. Mm-hmm. But the main character is like, ah, oh, but the patients it's like, bitch, that is the nurse's job. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> did, did you somewhat relate to it? 
No, no, but I mean, okay, okay. it's a drama, right? So she's, you know, mm. like they, they, they frame it as like, oh, if she didn't do this or if she didn't know this about the patient, then the maybe the patient would have died or suffered mm. a very like bad. And they, you know, put the doctors in a bad light because they make them seem all negligent and shit. Like yeah, yeah, because yeah. it's just starting to be all, but it's like, this is a very <laughs> poor representation of, uh, the, when, yeah, there's, how, it's supposed to works, right? <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to showcase how like uh, uh, caring this character is or whatever. But like, mm. yeah, Japanese dramas. I, I generally like uh, medical dramas, like Japanese medical dramas. But this one's kind of like, uh, why is it? Are, are you still gonna give it one more episode? I didn't haven't finished the first episode. <laughs> oh, <laughs> ooh, even though like, like that, huh? You know, Ishihara Satomi is the main character, and she's like my favorite Japanese actress. Mm. It's kind of hard to watch because of like the premise. But anyway, mm. Nanase is like a, a new pharmacist who starts oh. working at the place, and so she is like their vehicle for exposition, right? Because she doesn't know anything that happens in the hospital, and so she's mm. like, "Oh, why is it like this? Oh, why is it like that?" Mm. And so all the other characters explain to her so that we know too, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. Uh, maybe I'll finish the episode at least. <laughs> I will finish <laughs> the episode. God, God, and, bate, my guy. God, um, bate. you know, a few uh, Nogi fans or whatever are, are, is subbing it. So big oh, ups okay, to cool. you. Yeah, subbing the drums. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But let's. Do you um, feel like because you actually at least are a, a degree to that in your in your field? You feel like it affects you a little more seeing them how it portrayed. Uh, nah, not really. Like I don't okay. work. It's at, just, it's like, just like, bad. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, like the the hospital I work at is not like your traditional like private like yeah, medical like surgical general, hospital. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm more in like a long term, mm-hmm. so it doesn't have the same mm-hmm. kind of things that happen in a regular hospital. So. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, but there's still like nursing and stuff, and like, mm-hmm. dude, our pharmacist. Just show up, they restock the meds, and get, they get the fuck out. Just like, all right, here's your med <laughs> yeah. later. Like, if you need me, just call. <laughs> okay. No. All right. <laughs> but yeah. Um, As they generally do, you know? But I think mm-hmm. if you just watch it, and you kind of know what a pharmacist is, mm-hmm. then you'd be like, why is she doing this? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Anyway. Okay. Maybe check it out. I'll, I'll finish the first episode, I promise. Um, anyway, let's right. talk about the regular shows we watch. Mm. Uh, first is Hina Ai. We're still mm-hmm. talking. About still. New Jimmy, did Dan you watch this? Kasuga. I did. Okay, I did. It was Bro, cute. It was yeah, cute. More, more well, advice, you know, from the parents. Um, and then finally, they, they, they give gifts to Kasuga at the end. And then, of course, mm-hmm. we have the Senbatsu announcement for the lead mm-hmm. track of the album. Any mm-hmm. highlights, guys? Um, so it's a lot of discussion. So I think as far as yeah. highlights, I think the, the funniest thing that happened to me was early on in the episode, right? Mm-hmm. Kasuga was doing something. And then like, uh, oh, it was because of the uh, the Antonio Inoki impression they were doing, right? Because uh, ah, yes. Takamoto Aika talk about, well, my dad, corny as hell, dude. Always be saying mm-hmm. these jokes. None of my friends laugh and we'd be having barbecues, dude. But mm-hmm. I, mm-hmm. I laugh. Right. So, Anoki, right? You know, yeah, Anoki mushrooms. mushrooms. He was like, oh, Anoki, right? Because he's got his yeah. chin in there. But anyways, um, I, I need Japan to stop making fun of that dude, dude. He, I think he's got, he's literally punch drunk. I feel uncomfortable that we're making fun of a guy that's got like brain damage. But anyway. Oh, no. <laughs> that's like his thing though, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. But it's just like, why are we Take entertaining him and letting him yeah. do crazy things all the time, Japan? Mm, Please stop. Japan uh, dwells on... Uh, you know, mm-hmm. one shot gags like that a lot. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. But anyways, so then he's trying to do that, right? Because they they, they like full prepared the enoki mushrooms. It was pretty funny, right? Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. the staff bringing it out on the table. It's just this one plate of enoki mushrooms, and he does it. But then the little arm on the baby falls off, dude. <laughs> uh-huh. And everyone's just freaking out. Dude. It's just like, ah. mm-hmm. <laughs> so let's say that. But then, uh, I don't know. I feel like the, this episode gets me just thinking about things more in general, mm-hmm. right? Um, you know, Kasuga's a father. Mm-hmm. Uh, someday, I would like to be a father. I'm not sure about mm-hmm. you guys. 
mm-hmm. you know. But like, you know, I was like, okay, you know, uh, we learned that Me Pen needed someone like her mom to take a bath with her up until she was like 16 years old, uh-huh. dude. <laughs> you know, because she's like, oh, bath, the baths are uh-huh. scary, dude. I'm uh, like, when they come up from the water, what? I don't know what I'm gonna see. <laughs> yeah, what made me wonder. When 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 is the age or when is when, how am I gonna like ease mm-hmm. off of like being able to like mm-hmm. get into like go in the bath with my kids yeah. you know when you especially a daughter away. yeah yeah you know uh, I think they're joking around like I'm just gonna have a, a whole day like this is one day no more dude we're not gonna have any more <laughs> any more bath <laughs> times together dad we'll have, <laughs> dad where are you we'll have a, like, <laughs> all right just one more <laughs> we'll have a we'll have a little party dude a little little ceremony dude like the last <laughs> last bath ceremony you know I was like. Mm. I was like, yeah, I, I, that's a, that's a question I've never really had to, you know, think about. When when mm-hmm. when will that day come? Mm-hmm. 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 Any highlights from Josh? That was my highlight. Oh, okay. With with the meepon, she's like too scared. <laughs> it's like, mm. Chaz that, mentioning that was like a cute um, moment. Chaz mentioning uh, Kage's danso story, where she like oh. trying to get out of the house by raising up as danso, and then like her mom sees her at the mm-hmm. like. He's like train station or whatever. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Which in, instead of acting cool like a dude, mm-hmm. she's normal. Kagama Yuka. Yeah. Oh, mom. <laughs> <He's> like, oh, <laughs> oh, hey, mom. <laughs> was still wearing that get up. Uh-huh. Um, that was pretty funny. I like the gifts that Kasuga got at the end. Um, just mm-hmm. like some random shit. Like Kageyama's yeah, like-, like picture. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh, and this is for Kasuga. It's like an old like shirt <laughs> with the prints all like faded away. It's like who's? Uh-huh. It's like my family. It's like wait, what? Uh-huh. Why are you giving me this mm. shit? Dude? <laughs> <laughs> like how much your family? I want to wear a shirt of it. Yeah, uh, I think that was a thing Ush- back then, right? Like you'd go to like a theme park and they do that. Yeah, it was like Sea World, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like little yeah. little iron on T-shirts, you know. Yeah, mm. I wonder why that's not a thing anymore for like theme parks. Yeah. Maybe, maybe but, like no one bought them anymore. Of course, I feel Bushio. like I would just be that dad as well, but I would just you know just make kidding. some red bubble shirts, dude. <laughs> right. Take photos. Hey, of my uh, kid, we made our own me. shirts for the family. Mm. But, um, I like Ushio always giving giving them stuff from Indonesia, right? Got the mortal I knew it. and thistle. I knew it. First time I saw that, like when the, he pulled off the cover, and I was oh shit, my mom has one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Crushed peppers well, with those, bro. Uh-huh. Was, was, was it called again? Uh, Chabek or something like that. Right? Yeah, yeah, Chabek or whatever. I, I, I love that. Chabek, Chabek, whatever. Wakabayashi kept pronouncing it wrong. Yeah, <laughs> Chabek, <or> whatever. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's Beck. Beck. It's cute. Um, it's always cute. Yeah, yeah. I, I, it's interesting like, how like so many different cultures have that, like yeah. the, the stone crushing thing, the you, you uh, mortar and pestle. Crush some uh-huh, peppers, pestle, bro. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like in Mexico, they Spices, use it to like make know? like salsa and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That particular one is is like I guess Indonesian. Because of it's made out of granite, yeah, just like mm-hmm. wooden or like marble, right? Like different kinds. Oh, interesting. Mm-hmm. But I, I, um, yeah, I just like that running joke over just. Oh, this has got to be yeah. from Indonesia. Yeah, yeah. probably from Indonesia. <laughs> without yeah. fail, dude. This? Without fail. Ushio. Oh, yeah. of course. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so it's that's good. pretty much it for Hinai. We are moving on to a different kind of thing next week finally it's three weeks of castle getting get, getting advice mm-hmm. you know at last all right let's move on to kakite kakenai as we highlight jimmy's mistake <laughs> so in this episode <laughs> the members share their unlucky episodes or unlucky stories this was my and unlucky for this episode one, <laughs> mm-hmm. for this episode Yumiko Kaicho will give bells in Animal Crossing mm-hmm. if their stories are deemed unlucky by Tsuchida. Tsuchida is like mm-hmm. her servant. <laughs> oh, yes, mm-hmm. she will grant you an audience. <laughs> <laughs> Rings the bell. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, you know, it's a few members come out and they share their funny stories or unlucky stories, I guess. Mm-hmm. And Yumiko Kaicho writes down how many bells that is worth. And so, Dude, I, I was kind of uh, not disappointed. Um, just a little bit surprised. I thought she would have given out more bells than that. 
Mm. Right? I think that she was like, oh, it was like the highest amount of bells you've, you've given or whatever. And it was like in the hundreds of thousands. Right? Mm. Uh, spoiler, at the end, she gives, uh, what, 600,000 to the winner, which was a uh, Satoshi. Right? Mm. Yeah. Dude, I've just been giving out millions, dude. Jimmy over here flexing. <laughs> All right, Jimmy Kaicho. All I right, just, dude. yeah. I just, I'm just saying. I thought, you know, with with how how how, how confident she was last time, you know, was like, oh, how much, how much can I get? How much you want? You know, mm-hmm. that is like I was expecting in the in the mills, dude. Mm. She's like, maybe maybe the the peasants don't know any better, and so yeah, yeah. Kaicho oh, yeah, is like a. Like, uh, Who's uh, Maybe who was the first girl? Was it Matsumo? What's her name? Like uh, Matsu- the first girl to come out. Uh, uh one of the new Kira, girls, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. She's like, oh, can I get like, like ninety nine thousand bills? Because that's the yeah. most you can fit in a bag. I'm like, you can carry multiple bags, girl. <laughs> like, what, what's wrong with you? See, she didn't know any better. Uh-huh. Uh, she got the number wrong too in the beginning, right? Yeah, yeah, it was like nine thousand something, dude. Mm-hmm. See, I don't play Animal Crossing, so I have no idea. Mm-hmm. And it's like the the you know the curtains go up and she's there, and Suchi's like, no. <laughs> she's like, oh, what? She starts with like the, the whole presentation, start, like, telling was a story, really funny. right? And it's like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, any highlights? You know, my highlight has to go to my girl, my go out to my girl Habu. Oh, just telling the dumbest stories, dude. <laughs> but like the way she does it is so good. She's like, come, yeah, she was like, oh, uh, yes, so the other day, day, right? And then they just <laughs> <laughs> curtains down. And then uh, as soon as they're like, oh, okay, okay, let's let her do it. Mm-hmm. She doesn't even like segue into it. She just jumps <laughs> right in, back into it. Like, oh, yes. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just uh, like the way that she talks. It's so, uh, I don't know, charming. It's right? very, it just, it just uh, like, it has such like, an innocence to it, you know. Mm. Kind it's, of floating. Very kind of her way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, yeah. yeah so. Mm-hmm. Where? Josh? Mm-hmm. Any? Any? Uh, I like Sato Shiori story. Where she like just goes up. Oh yeah, so I was supposed to be uh you know yeah. studying abroad, but yeah, I'm here. <laughs> Dude, Dude I, that was, I, I like that was really I legit. I so. legitimately laughed out loud <laughs> during that part, dude. Like that, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like out of all the the stories or whatever, that that is like the most unlucky, right? Like yeah, she's like there's, I there's no even way the refund yet, dude. Yeah, there's no way she would have like. No, like a pandemic was gonna happen, right? <laughs> right? Uh, I feel like all See, the others could have been avoided, but hers is like, yeah. Shit. <laughs> See, see, like, so I mean, obviously we know there was a pandemic, so there's a reason. But it just reminds me of that kid that on the last day of school before summer break, he's like, I, I was gonna say a specific country just because I have a very specific story, but you know, he's like, oh, I'm, I'm moving to another country, guys. I'm moving. I'm like, oh, dude, oh, my gosh. Make him a big get, like, you know, like farewell thing. Everyone signs it. First day of school fall, dude. He's he's back on the bus. What are you doing here, dude? <laughs> oh, no, no, dude. Uh, my, my, my mom changed her mind, dude. I'm like, oh, okay. All right, bud. You know? Yeah. But then like, I feel like that's, that's the vibe that people got from Satoshi, but yeah, we all know better, yeah, right? Yeah, totally. Because mm-hmm. just like, oh, guys, I'm, I'm going to go study abroad for a year. This is goodbye. Love you all. Be good. Uh-huh. Next week. Hey. <laughs> on, the, on the Zoom call with About the that. new fourth, or with the new second gen. And the new uh-huh. second gen is like, oh, shit, she's here. <laughs> that was like the first time they met. Oh, uh, hey, hello. I thought she was supposed to be gone. Why is she here? <laughs> Uh, but anyway, yeah, it was a pretty fun episode. Uh, there's probably more next week. Huh? No, next week is finally. Uh, them, oh, because at the end of this episode, they're like, "Oh, Sugai, we haven't called you Sugai Sama in a long time. You know, you were like the original Ojo Sama in this group, mm-hmm. but now we have mm-hmm. Yumiko Kaicho, and she's like, ah, oh, you know, it's cool.' And then they're like, "Why don't we battle this shit next oh, week?" So, that's what that's we've been highlight. waiting for, dude. Finally, yeah. mm-hmm. so uh, you, can tell who, you can tell who's a true kaicho by uh-huh. the uh, the responses to it, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, like uh, Sugai, so humble, like, oh, oh if we could, you know, if, if it's all right with everyone, but Yumiko Kaicho just straight up, like, I mean, if it sounds fun, I'll do it. 
different approaches. We'll see how it is. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Excited for yeah. next. Can we can we get some Fujoshi be... Karen screen time back? <laughs> Where's she been? <laughs> I'm expecting we'll a lot of switch places uh... once Jimmy once Jimmy made the decision. I right. uh, see. Hey, this was the long con, dude, because you mm-hmm. know Seki was my original pick. So I knew if I had said that she was my pick, then we wouldn't get no Seki content, dude. Maybe you saved her. I know that's what I do. I, I I put myself on the line, dude. Uh-huh. Unfortunately, Fujiyoshi Karen yeah. had to be just yeah. short of this. <laughs> like that dude, one this sucks, dude. Bro. This sucks. Hopefully, hopefully soon. Hopefully soon, we get some. Mm. some Maybe sweet she's there next week. Who Karen knows? Maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's supporting uh, Yumiko Kaicho. I'm just expecting yeah, yeah. a lot of uh, derpy Sugai moments. Let's go. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway. The last show is Nogi Chu, Nogi Zaka Koji Chu. We're continuing Banana Man and Nogi Zaka playing games. Uh, they play some Mario Kart. They play some wrestling, uh, what is it, fire pro or whatever. And then they play Bomberman. Any mm-hmm. highlights? Um, I, I wish mine was there. <laughs> <laughs> For the Bomberman action, dude. Um, I think my highlights are the same as yours, boys. Uh, it was Den Chan. Mm-hmm. Just be like, uh, you know what? I'm so good at this game, mm-hmm. and I know I'm so good at this game. I'm gonna wait. I can wait 20 seconds at the start, mm-hmm. and then the and game starts. Still and then she goes, yeah. "What are you doing?" <laughs> oh, oh, wait, 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 my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> pulls over. Mm-hmm. But yeah, she she actually waits the, the time and then crushes mm-hmm. them. Right? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. See, and I just remember thinking, see, Risa, this is how you do it. If you were gonna be arrogant, mm-hmm. you gotta do it early on, especially when you, Mario still have, when you still have time. You can't you can't like give them the lead so late into the game, mm-hmm. dude? That was a this is foolish true mistake, dude. Mm-hmm. Foolish mistake. Um, the wrestling like the... took a very long time. So like, yes, Banana, the wrestling like, took a long Kimura time. Kimura dude, wanted yeah. a rematch against Kanagawa, right? Because she mm. beat his ass on the. On the other episode with the wrestling, and so their match mm. took like thirty minutes. <laughs> it took so long, dude. Yeah, it was, it was, it was like just he, <laughs> like I felt like it was long in the episode, and then I would look down at the bottom right where there was the timer in the game. I'm like, yeah, oh my god, this has been going for twenty minutes. What the hell? Can <laughs> it's I funny that the staff made Himura in the game, <laughs> and he's like, "What? Oh, yeah. That's me? Yeah. What the hell?" <laughs> <laughs> um, and then the bomber man, uh-huh. no revenge. No true revenge because my end didn't show up. Mm-hmm. He was like, "I'm too good for this shit, bro." I don't know. And she was right, dude. He he didn't even make it to the finals. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, he beat Peach Kid, which I think was the goal, right? Because last time mm. she was oh, the that's one right. who eliminated yeah. him twice. Mm-hmm. And then Hoshino with that beginner luck. Yeah. the second round because the first round she blew herself up immediately she's like oh wait what, what? she's dead <laughs> oh <laughs> shit but, but she got she got she got the hang of it after yeah 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 um yeah yeah it's just a lot of games and I feel like the wrestling took a long time there was a couple button mashing moments I think it was Sayaka who was like just mashing all the buttons like the whole time just standing up mashing all the buttons the, getting yeah, outside the of. wrestling yeah uh-huh. I was like that's not how you play the game that's not how you play the game I didn't yeah. play the game, so I don't know. That's pretty much it for Nogichu. It's always fun just watch them play games yeah. and shit. And, yeah, yeah, know. they get they get they get hyped. That's I like think, the main point, right? Not so much the uh, the games itself. I mean, that's interesting, think, but yeah. just watching I think them. Whatever get it's um, Nogi versus Banana Man, it's usually pretty entertaining. Yeah. So, I like yeah, how the walls in the middle. So they're always like, "Yeah, like hitting the walls." Like, yeah, yeah brother, fire. you got this. <laughs> it's just like tapping the acrylic thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then they pass the controls to each other over the acrylic. So I'm just like, "What's the point?" <laughs> oh no, disinfect first. <laughs> where's the, where's the alcohol wipes, dude? <laughs> um, yeah, that's pretty much it for Nogichu. Pretty straightforward. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Kekage and Nogichu pretty worth watching. Uh, Hina is a little bit more involved, but there's some funny stories. So. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But you know hey, what that means? It means that's it for the TV show roundup, and it means that's it for this week's episode. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, as always, you, you can uh, 
you know, follow us on Twitch. Come come hang out with us during the live show. You never know what's gonna happen. You know, sometimes we might look at a photo book during the free show. You never know. Maybe we did that today. So, Maybe. <laughs> but you'd have to follow us to find out. Hang out with us. Uh, we're we're live every Tuesdays around 7 p.m. Pacific time. Or you can uh, follow us on Twitch if you want to stay up to date through, uh, throughout the week with everything we've got going on. And most of all, subscribe on YouTube if you're not already. We've got lots of other videos coming down the pipeline. Not just these podcasts, so you guys subscribe to, to stay tuned to that. But until then, we'll see you guys next week. Uh, bye. Bye. Bye.